Good day, everyone. My name is Monica, and welcome back to... <laughs> Where do we go? Uh, Natsuki said something about where to go, right? We'll have to find a different day where Yuri's out in the hallway by herself, so you're there. That was Thursday. That was third. Uh, might have been Thursday for Yuri, though. I don't know. We're outside the club room. Unfortunately, there aren't many other options for safe places. Mm -hmm. It would be the best spot to catch Yuri by herself if she leaves the classroom. Did she even leave the classroom today? I don't think she made tea today. It's not for very long, but there is a brief moment when she comes out for a bit. Natsuki holds up the protein bar. When she does, I'll catch up to her and ask her to cut this in half for me. Won't you find it weird that you're on the hallway so suddenly? It'll be fine. She practically forgets that anyone else is in the room when you're reading with her. I guess in this case they'll work in our favor, but I'm not reading with her. This is Natsuki's route. Oh no. Oh. Or is this part where she forces you to read with her? Okay. What should I do? You? I guess you should just stay put. She wouldn't have noticed me, but you're a different story. Don't worry, this should only take a second. Sure enough, Yuri exits the classroom, and once she goes down the hallway, Natsuki begins sneaking after her. I still don't think Yuri's gonna draw her knife out, so... She said she would only be a second. Actually, maybe this is a good time. Hey Ryan, I've had a little time to think about things, and I was wondering, what's it like out there? I mean, I only know what it's like in school here. And I can't say for certain, but I feel like it's not normally this strange. But I guess you would know, so I was hoping you could tell me a little bit about it. There are a lot of problems to deal with and people that need help. We're working on it, though. Let's see. Well, it's good to hear that, I think. And hey, you took time out to help us as well. I'm certainly thankful for that. I hope it gets better for you soon, though. Aw, thank you. Finally, Natsuki comes back down the hallway. She looks back briefly, then shoves me around a corner. Hey. She'll be coming back to the classroom any second. I want to make sure she didn't notice us. Okay. So did she... Actually, cut it? Oh, okay. How'd it go? Natsuki grins and holds up an ably cut protein bar. I know exactly where to find it now. Even if she brings a different knife on Friday, she'll still be in the same place. Okay. Just a little thing. Yuri is very nervous about her uh, thing with knives. She is extremely apprehensive about it. She doesn't want anyone to even know that she has a thing for knives. She barely even told player, and she's kind of obsessed with him. So I don't think she would have just drawn it out to help Natsuki cut something up. I don't know, that's just, that's just a thing. It's not really a big thing, but you wanted, you wanted critiques, Gray, so that's my one. I also got to talk to her for a bit. I don't know if she'll end up remembering all of it, but... Oh, I was wondering why you were gone for so long. Hey, remember that I'm the main character here. You're not the only one looking for closure, you know. That's true. Anyways, let's go. I think we're just about ready to rescue Yuri. Oh, dang it! Now we don't get to see what Natsuki told her! Fuck St. Mike. Dick. Where should we go? Ah, oh, I've already got all those saved. Friday, Natsuki! We're outside the club room. Everyone's been in there for a while now. Yeah, I think this day is a bust. Yuri only leaves the classroom to make tea, and when Mike goes to see her, they glitch back to the classroom. Wait, really? By the time Monica and uh, the other Natsuki leave. Yeah, it's too late. We need another opportunity to get our knife, but I don't think there's one here. But what if you want to talk to her? Maybe the glitching only happens for me. Alright. Jeez, Mike, did you forget that we tried that already? Sorry. Come on, we still got other options to try. Yeah. Uh, they're all in the Yuri route. Switch to the Yuri route. Ah, uh, Wednesday Yuri, I think. We've already found out what we need to know here. Let's go to Friday and save Yuri. Well, I went to Friday and didn't do shit, so... <laughs> in the club room in the early morning again. Hmm, does this mean, mean I need to replace Mike again? Oh, that was me saying that. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yep, once things get going today, we're n there's not a good chance to switch the two of you, so it'll be easiest that way. Do I have to remember all of my lines again? What lines? Oh, yeah. Right, at this point in the game, you basically just have to stand there. You can even close your eyes if you want to spare Ryan from having to relive the most more disturbing moments. I think I'd like to be, spa to be spared from having to relive them, too. Anyways, what about Yuri? Right, so I'll be hiding out in the hallway. 
When you suddenly show up with Yuri to talk for a bit, you'll need to keep her distracted. The longer you can keep Yuri from talking about Monica, the longer I have to sneak behind her and get the knife. And once Monica and the others are out of the room, Yuri won't be able to stab herself. I'll come in and we'll be able to talk to Yuri without something crazy happening. Seems simple enough. What about Monica, though? If she's watching, she'll definitely realize that something is different at that point. Yeah, I know. I mean, can you do me a big favor? Probably going to need to keep Yuri's character file the series. Done. And you're going to need to keep a copy of mine there as well. Done. Natsuki, even if everything is going well with Yuri, it'll only be a matter of time before Monica starts acting more directly. That's right. How are we going to deal with Monica? Natsuki shook her head. Not us, Ryan. Ryan, you wanted to help fix things, right? Well, the way things are set up, you're the only one who'll be able to talk to her. Oh, not us, Ryan. Okay. I won't be able to help much, but I'll do what I can. Mike, you might be able to help too, although Monica might do something to you if you talk on your own, so be careful. Sure, but what exactly is Ryan supposed to do? Ryan, it will seem strange, but really it's just what we have to do for everyone else. Talk to her. Find a way to get through to her. And I would ask that this time you don't delete our character file. I know that sounds difficult, but... Right! Cliffhangers! Lovely, lovely. I believe you could do- oh, never mind then. Hey, chin up, Mike. Between you and Ryan, I know everything's going to be okay in the end. Okay, I'm gonna hide out. They should be here any minute now. See you soon. See you soon. The day goes by in a blur. Like Natsuki said, I don't even have to say anything. An hour passes in what seems like seconds. Soon enough. It's showtime. Um, wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything. Right. Oh, interesting use of the line. Well done. My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. Are you feeling okay? We're just in the hallway talking. Are you listening to me? If you think it might be aliens, I've heard they could do this sort of thing to you. Am I so meant to... Uh... I... Whatever, I'm just gonna go with my gut. Yuri, nothing you do is weird. Yuri, um, ooh, that's probably not the best one. Yuri, are you okay? We're just in the hallway, talking. What? I mean, you're right, but... Yuri suddenly stops in mid-thought, as if she hadn't actually expected me to respond, especially to imply that everything was normal. After a few seconds, she recovers, remembering there was more she wanted to say. Oh, nice. It's just, I mean... Everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate. Oh, my God. oh geez. Wait, did I say things at all? I meant to say, like, are you okay? As in to talk to her, to ask if she's feeling okay. That's not what I meant. Dang it! At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. The way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. <sighs> you just haven't found someone that can match your love and passion in your hobbies. Till now! Hmm, <laughs> sounds like aliens to me. <laughs> See... <sighs> this model was made months ago, but I, f I still feel like <laughs> Graves is trying to make subtle hints towards the mod I'm working on. <laughs> um... Okay, there's nothing wrong with being excited about your hobbies, but it's a point I'm not. Your destructive habit isn't a hobby, you need to stop. But, but I just meant my books. Are books the only hobby you have? Well, he looks away for a bit suspicious that I know more about her than she realizes. So, uh... As Natsuki sneaks up behind her, Yuri starts to become more and more stressed. Is it just a matter of what I said to her? Or is it just because she's been interrupted from what she was going to say and now she can't go back to it easily? Yuri, it sounds like you've been having this problem for a while now. Do you think coming to the literature club has helped with that? Now that I think about it, it has. Or at least it did at first. But recently something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. It's going to rip out of my chest. Looks like Natsuki's almost done. I just need to stall for a little more time. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Yuri. Oh, interesting choice. It's not your fault. 
We can't condone her actions. You need to stop cutting yourself. She hasn't told us about it. Let me take you away from all this. I have no idea what this is going to do. But it's the only one that might be... What? Yuri, I already know what you want. You've been looking for someone like me your whole life. Someone who shares your passions, your desires. Someone who can make all your desires and dreams come true. Mike. You can almost see Natsuki nodding and knows what the fuck Ryan as she slips away. But Yuri, you have to promise me something. <laughs> uh, anything, Mike. Promise me you'll never do anything to hurt yourself. I couldn't bear it if anything ever happened to you. We have the rest of our lives to spend together what's a few more days in the literature club to that. Uh, of course. Good, let's go back inside now. The other's probably starting to wonder about us. You'll be good, won't you? Of course I will. You know, the biggest problem I normally have with mods like this is that Yuri, especially in her Act 2 form, the dialogue does not sound like her, or just sounds overly fancy. That, while it wasn't perfect Yuri dialogue, it is some of the better ones that I've seen, and like, it definitely seemed in character for her, so good job, Grace. We go back inside. I hoped what I said to Yuri would get her to calm down a little. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't check how long I... No. No, no, it's not. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Mike, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There really is something wrong with me, isn't there? Yuri. Uh, Mike. Have you forgotten already? Forgotten? What did I forget? Your promise. My promise. I... Oh. I forgot. How could I forget? It's just... I can't. I can't help it, Mike. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to evolve their entire life around you. Yuri, this isn't you. Someone else is doing this to you, causing you to feel like this. Causing me to feel... I don't understand. These feelings inside me are just too strong. Like, I can't control them. Even when it feels like something horrible is about to happen. I can't. I can't stop it anymore, Mike. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. Please, Mike. Just know how much I love you. Well, we tried, Ryan. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Yuri. I hoped you wouldn't have to go through this. You're sorry. For what? You're not... Are you rejecting me? But I love you, Mike. Don't you understand that? I'm not rejecting you, Yuri. Just endure it for a little longer, okay? I think once we get past this part, it'll be okay. I don't... I don't understand, Mike. I don't understand, I don't understand, I don't understand, but... It's okay. Everything is going to be okay. You just have to be my lover. Accept my confession. And... Yuri. Panicking and shaking a little, she reaches behind her back. What? This isn't... She pulls out a folded up piece of paper, clearly having expected it to be something else. What is this? What's going on? Confused, she slowly unfolds it. A storm. Where did this come from? Who? Oh. I'd like you to read it, Yuri. Oh no, that's Natsuki. I'd like you to read it, Yuri. The Natsuki! Hey, Yuri. Yeah, I wrote that for you. I'd like you to read it, please. Uh, Yuri spends a couple minutes reading the poem, then reads it again. She does her breathing slips back down to a moment pace, processing the meaning of what Natsuki has written. It's a really nice poem, Natsuki. I just... I just... I was just about to... Breathing starts to pick up. She remembers what she was going to do before she found the poem. I was just about to... Yeah, I know. Mike and I have been worried about you lately. That something like this might happen. I'm sorry for stealing your knife, but if I hadn't... Your instantly drops into a seat, suddenly able to support her own weight. As he rushes to her side and puts a supportive hand on her shoulder. I... Yuri begins sobbing softly as Natsuki and I do our best to support her. This scene was really well done. Good job. She cries for a while, like that. When she talks, she apologizes again and again. For what she said and for what she almost did, if we tell her it's okay, it's going to be okay. It's not quite how I imagined things going, but the rest is avoided. Yuri is still with us. 
<sighs> wow. <laughs> Finally, exhausted, Yuri falls asleep at her desk. It's not particularly comfortable, but she's too tired to care. Is, is she really going to be okay? I mean, she, she's calmed down for now, but... One step at a time, Mike. Today went about as well as I could have expected. The flirty bit didn't really help things, but... I don't fucking know! <laughs> I'll have more chances to work through her other problems in the future. I understand that, but sometimes when I was talking to her earlier, I wasn't sure that I was actually getting through to her at all. She was compelled. I love Natsuki's top of the morning smile. Just keeps saying what she wanted to say, regardless of what I did. I wouldn't worry too much about it, Mike. She's been through a lot, you know. People don't change easily. But given how much Monica's messed with her, she'll need something more than just counseling. I'll have to figure that part out. I'll have to figure that part out on my end, but you just leave that part to me, okay? For now, just make sure you got our character files saved somewhere else. Alright. Oh, Done copying. Okay, so what? Do we just wait for Monica to come back? Oh. Oh, I don't think we'll have to wait long. Just in case. One second she was there, asleep at her desk, the next she was gone. That's the case she's... Yeah. You remember what I said, right, Mike? Ryan? Yeah. Good. I'm counting on you two. Don't let me down, okay? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States of America. I have no idea if that's true or not. Abraham Lincoln wrote the Emancipation Proclamation and freed the slaves. I do believe that's true. Abraham Lincoln was always honest and wore a stovepipe hat. I don't think that's true. Abraham Lincoln fought vampires with a silver axe. Abraham Lincoln always made sure his daughter had plenty of food and took proper care of her. Is Abraham Lincoln even real? Interesting. Okay, so we're helping base game Natsuki now. Uh, can you hear me? No, it's just Monica. Is it working? Hello there. Hey, there you are. Never thought I'd be back here again, but oh well. Hi again, Mike. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year. <laughs> you know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. Um, just a little note, Daisy, the recording might be a bit messed up here. It seems to be a little laggy on my end. After all, we've already done this before, haven't we? I thought something was strange. At first, the changes were barely noticeable. Office more glitches resulting from the edits I made. But something very strange happened to Sayori. I couldn't figure it out for a while. When I noticed changes happening with Yuri as well, I realized. Mike, you've modded the game, haven't you? I knew it. Oh, Mike, you're such a good person. Modding the game to make things less awful for Sayori and Yuri. But more importantly, you've made it so that we can really be together forever this time. I'm so happy, Mike. I know you understood me. The situation I'm in, and my love for you. You are truly the light in my world. No more unhappy endings. No more sadness. It's just a formality at this point, but let me ask. Mike, will you go out with me? When we finally have the happy ending we've waited so long for? Uh, Abraham Lincoln. Monica, we need to talk. We need to talk? Mike, that sounds like... We're not breaking up with me, are you? We haven't even been going out yet, Monica! No, we need to talk about the others, about what you've done. The others? Like you can't mean. We've discussed this already, Mike. They're not real. I know this must seem harsh from your perspective. If they had no free will, they couldn't think for themselves. That's why you're wrong, kiddo. I thought you would have figured this out already. Nothing I did to them actually mattered. Their feelings were just programmed responses. Not like what you and I feel. I'm the only one who's real in this world. Can't you see that? And besides, they're gone forever now. I'm the only one left. So please, just understand that it has to be this way. No, Monica, they're not gone. Watch the... Oh, that could be really bad. But really good. No, Monica, they're not gone. Watch this. Uh, do, 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 do. Now their files have been deleted. I mean, I'm gonna try it anyway, let's just paste. Um, replace the file, I guess? I don't know. The fact that they haven't been deleted is confusing me a bit, but okay. Okay. Mike, you 
scared me there for a moment. I thought you were going to do something crazy. Don't worry, you made the right choice staying with just me. Okay, so it didn't work. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out what the heck went wrong. There's no point saving anymore, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Okay then, well, thank you all for joining me on this adventure. If you enjoyed it, then let me know down in the comments below. And I'll be sure to get to it as soon as I can, and I'm gonna try and figure out what went wrong. Goodbye! <laughs> Fuck! Okay, should not have gone so close. Yeah, I'm coming here. That's nice. Which direction? Fuck. Oh, that direction! Press shift to run.